Hello and welcome back to the HIV RNA Test Guide Podcast. You know where to find us. Your trusted source for HIV testing. With over 4,500 testing labs across the United States. That's right. This month, we are diving deep into March's biggest HIV news. That's right. And wow, do we have some incredible updates for you so? from vaccine breakthroughs to a potential functional cure. Mm -hmm. March has been a month of serious progress. Absolutely. The energy and innovation in the field right now is palpable. It really is. We're seeing advancements that, frankly, were unimaginable just a few years ago. Oh, it's crazy, right? Let's jump right in. I think we have got to start with the news that has got everyone buzzing. Okay. Vaxiex's mRNA HIV vaccine. Oh, yeah. Their phase three trial results show a whopping 95% efficacy rate. 95%? I mean, come on. I know. When I first saw that number, I have to read it twice. This is yeah. huge. Huge. And not just because it's the highest efficacy we've ever seen in an HIV vaccine candidate. It's also the first one to show consistent results across diverse populations. So what does this mean for, say, someone listening right now? Is this the end of HIV as we know it? Well, I don't know if I'd say it's the end, but it is definitely a game changer. Okay. Think about it. A vaccine this effective could dramatically reduce new infections. Oh, wow. Maybe even lead to eradication in certain areas. It's oh. not a magic bullet, of course. We still need to figure out distribution accessibility right. and address potential long-term effects. Sure. But this is a massive leap forward, and it gives us real hope for a future where HIV is no longer a global threat. That is amazing. And speaking of hope, yes. there's also been exciting progress on the cure front, right? You're talking about the CureGen study presented at CROI. Yeah, using yeah. CRISPR gene therapy. They managed to completely eliminate latent HIV reservoirs in a majority of participants. I know, this is really incredible. Now, this is still early stage research and long-term monitoring is key. Right. But imagine a world where you could actually clear the virus from your body. It's mind-blowing. That's the potential we're talking about here. I know, it's amazing. That's incredible. I mean, even if it takes a while to become widely available, knowing that a cure might be possible is life-changing for so many people. Absolutely. It changes everything. And it's not just about the science. It's about the message of hope it sends. Right. It tells people living with HIV that a future free from the virus is within reach. Speaking of changing the landscape, let's talk about Lenavir. Oh, yeah. I mean, twice yearly injections for HIV treatment. Uh huh. That's got to be a game changer for so many people. Yeah. You know, think about the freedom this offers. No more daily pills. Right which can be a constant reminder of your status. Right. This could be particularly impactful for folks who struggle with remembering to take medication yeah. or who face barriers to regular health care. Yeah. Fewer appointments, less stress, and potentially better outcomes. That's powerful. It really is. And it's not just about scientific advancements. Right. There have also been some significant policy changes mm. and amazing community initiatives gaining momentum. That's right. Canada just became the first G7 nation to fully decriminalize HIV non-disclosure wow. and non-delivery of RT. Wow. This means people living with HIV are no longer criminalized for not disclosing their status or for missing doses of medication. Okay. It's a huge victory for human rights and could pave the way for other countries to follow suit. This is such a critical step in reducing stigma. Right. And creating a more supportive environment for people living with HIV. Precisely. And speaking of creating supportive environments, there's this incredible app, Test2PREP, okay. that's been making waves in Kenya and South Africa. Okay. It connects users to same-day HIV testing, pre-REP prescriptions, and even telehealth counseling wow. all through their phones. Early data shows a significant increase in testing and pre-PP uptake, especially among young people who often face barriers to accessing traditional healthcare services. It's amazing how technology can be used to bridge these gaps right. and empower individuals to take control of their health. It is. And it's not just happening in Africa. Right. Closer to home, we've seen celebrities like Zara Velez bravely share their HIV positive status, sparking important conversations, especially in the Latinx community. Right. Her undetectable and unstoppable hashtag is trending worldwide. Wow. Showing the power of visibility and open dialogue. Definitely. Oh. And it's so important to remember that while we're celebrating these advancements, there's still crucial research happening that could impact the future of HIV treatment and prevention. Mm -hmm. For example, the study in AIDS Journal. That highlighted the link between persistent inflammation and accelerated aging. 
in people living with HIV. Yeah, that's a really important one. It's a sobering reminder that even with well-managed HIV, there are still long-term health implications that need to be addressed. That's right. This research emphasizes the importance of focusing on inflammation as part of a holistic approach to HIV care, uh -huh. not just viral suppression. Yeah. So basically, it's not just about extending life, yeah. but also about improving the quality of life for people living with HIV. Exactly. And while we're talking about research, we can't forget the NIH study showing promise with a new shock and kill approach to HIV. Oh yeah, tell me about this. They're using a two-drug combination to flesh out and neutralize latent HIV in primates with human trials scheduled for 2026. Wow. If successful, this could be the closest we've come to a true cure. It's amazing to think that we're even talking about the possibility of a cure. I know, right? But it's also important to acknowledge the setbacks, like the halting of the Ubuntu trial, Oh, okay. which was testing a pan-HIV vaccine in Southern Africa. Yeah. It's a reminder that this work is complex and challenging. It is. The Ubuntu trial's broad scope might have underestimated the diversity of HIV strains, making it difficult to create a truly universal vaccine. Right. It's a setback, but it's also an opportunity to learn and refine our approach. Absolutely. And of course, you can't ignore the elephant in the room. The proposed PEPFAR funding cuts. Oh. Okay. This could have devastating consequences for millions of people who rely on these programs for access to life-saving treatment. It's true. It's a stark reminder that scientific progress is only part of the equation. Advocacy and political engagement are crucial to ensure that these advancements reach the people who need them most. Absolutely. Absolutely. And looking ahead, the International AIDS Society is tackling a crucial question. Okay. How to ensure equitable access to CRISPR-based cures. Yeah especially given the potential cost barriers. Yeah, that's going to be really important. We can't allow these groundbreaking treatments to worsen existing health disparities. Equitable access has to be a core part of the conversation from the very beginning. So much to think about. March has been a month of incredible highs. It has. And some sobering reminders of the challenges we still face. But overall, the future of HIV care looks brighter than ever. It really does. And it makes me wonder, given all this progress, what role can we play in accelerating this movement? What can you, the listener, do to contribute to an HIV-free future? Maybe it's educating yourself, supporting organizations on the front lines, or simply starting a conversation about HIV in your own community. Every action, no matter how small, can make a difference. That's a powerful thought. And for our listeners who want to stay informed and get involved, remember to check out the HIV RNA Test Guide website. We've got all the latest news resources and, of course, information on finding HIV testing near you. Yeah. Until next time, stay informed, stay empowered, and let's keep pushing for a brighter future for everyone. Yeah, let's do it. Host.